So Mr. Clem from Clare Maths and today we're going to be looking at polynomials. We're going to give a brief introduction to polynomials and ways that we can use polynomials to evaluate them and to divide polynomials by linear factors and the remainder theorem and the factor theorem. Polynomials is quite a big topic in higher maths. But what is a polynomial? Well, a polynomial is just an expression with one or more terms of this form. So it's just some power of x times a number plus some power of x, one less than the one you started with, times a number, and so on. For example, we could have 3x to the power of 5, plus x cubed, plus 2x squared minus 6. That's a polynomial. And we say the degree of that polynomial is 5, because the highest power is 5. The degree of a polynomial is the highest power it contains. We have usually been looking so far at quadratics, They've, they've got squares in them, so the degree of a quadratic is 2. A constant is also a polynomial, but the degree of that constant is 0 because x to the power of 0 equals 1. So a constant can be a polynomial with degree of 0. Let's look at evaluating polynomials. We can evaluate polynomials just by substitution. So for example, let's say we had f of x equals 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 2x plus 1. And we want to find f of 5. And we just need to substitute 5 into this equation. So that's nice and simple. f of 5 would just equal 2 times 5 cubed minus 9 times 5 squared plus 2 times 5 plus 1. 5 cubed is 125. If you double that, you get 250. 5 squared is 25, 9 times 25 is 225, 2 times 5 squared is 10, plus an extra 1. So the answer, 25 plus 10 is 35, plus 1 is 36. F of 5 in this case is 36. But must be a better way or a faster way of evaluating these things, substituting a number into a polynomial, especially when we've not got a calculator. It must be a fast, faster way to do it. That's what we're going to look at now with nested form. We could use nested form to easily evaluate polynomials. Here's an example with a cubic. Let's say we start off with 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 2x plus 1. And we're going to be trying to find f of 5. If I take x out as a common factor of all the terms of an x in it, I'll be left with 2x squared minus 9x at 2. we will just add 1 sitting on the end. I could do that again and take x out as a common factor of all the terms of x in it again. x, x, 2x minus 9 plus 2 plus 1. I could use that to evaluate f of 5. Now you might be looking at that and thinking, well, how does that help me? That just looks like a mess. But if you look at it when I put 5 in here, you start off in the middle. You're going to do 2 times 5, then you're going to take away 9. 2 times 5, take away 9. Then you're going to times that answer by 5 again, and then add 2. Then you're going to times it by 5 again, but then add 1. So there's a bit of a pattern that would help us work out the answer to this and we can actually draw this in a better table form to show us it, even without using the x's. We're putting that calculation in a table. This is just the coefficients of the original polynomial. It was 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 2x plus 1. And I'm wanting to work out f of 5. You'll notice again, so we're times in that 5 by 2, then taking away 9. So I have dropped the 2 down to the bottom. I need to times that by 5, which is 10. 10 add minus 9 is 1. I've done that bit. I now need to times it by 5 again. 1 times 5 is 5. And then I need to add 2. Add the number above it. That's 7. Then we're back to here, times it by 5. 7 times 5 is 35. So they have to add 1, add the number above it. It's 36. 36 is our final answer. f of 5 equals 36. And we know that's the case because we've just done it earlier. 
in this format will also be used to divide polynomials which will become synthetic division and that's why it works. Let's look at another example. So example, given f of x equals x cubed plus x squared minus 22x take away 40, evaluate f of minus 2. And this comes from the HSN notes. So we'll start off by drawing our table. Coefficients of the polynomial go here. So I've got 1x cubed, 1x squared minus 22x minus 40. And I want to know what f of minus 2 is. So we drop the 1 down. And we do 1 times minus 2 to get minus 2. Add the 1 above, minus 2 add 1 is minus 1. Times again, minus 2 times minus 1 is 2. 2 take away 22 is negative 20. Negative 20 times negative 2 is 40. 40 minus 40 is 0. f of minus 2 equals zero. Just a reminder because it will be important later. If you ever find substitute a, num a number into a polynomial like a quadratic and get the answer zero, it means you've actually found a root. X plus two would be a root of this. But it's not important at the moment. Example two. F of x is three x cubed plus five x minus thirty six. Evaluate f of minus three. We'll start in the same way. Coefficients of x cubed is 3. There's no x squared, so we'd actually need to write 0. Then 5x minus 36. We we'll always have to go in order. So cubed, squared, x, number. And then we're wanting to work out f of minus 3. And we can begin. 3 drops down. 3 times minus 3 minus 9. Minus 9 adds 0, still minus 9. Minus 9 times minus 3 is positive 27. 27 and 5 is 32. 3 times 32 is 96. So that would be a negative 96 in this case. Minus 96 take away 36 is minus 132. There's our answer. F of minus 3 is minus 100.